Hi there, welcome to my views and news. Two new stories for you. The new stories are from the Amhara region because we know that after the death of uh, Fano commander uh, Vaban Dabate in uh, Amhara region, new developments have been happening in the last 24 hour statements from Gujjum, Gondar, Volo, Shoa, Fano commanders and then a meeting reportedly was held to uh, choose a new commander to lead Gona brigade. Uh, now some names are in circulation though we could not uh, get any video of this meeting. Uh, what about uh, Ubante Abate's family. Is his son going to take over? Has he been appointed as uh, a commander? Two details for you in this video. Secondly, North Shore Zone, Oromia Special Zones of the Amhara region, where uh, clashes ongoing, Fano fighters entered a town a few hours ago. Joa Fano confirmed Fano's attacks in and around this town in uh, Amhara region. Firstly, we are uh, 48 hours ago, uh, Ubante Abate South Gondar Fano head was killed in fighting. Confirmed. Military has issued a statement. Fano groups have also issued statements. Uh, several Fano uh, brigades from Shoa, Gondar, Gujam, Wallo have issued statements too. We were talking about the impact of this uh, uh, death on Fano struggle. I did a video on that too, and I wrote an article too. If you want to read the article, you can. Uh, read the article on myviewsonnews.net. This is the website where I am writing articles. And a few hours ago, I wrote in detail there about uh, the statements of Gujjum, Gondar, uh, Volo, uh, Shoa, Fano groups. All statements are there. I cannot read the long statements, but I uh, uploaded the statements to the website. So you can read the text of the statements there on myviewsonnews.net and there I have shared details of the operation, uh, uh, the operation launched by Afano fighters uh, in uh, the Amhara region. So all Afano uh, groups have announced to participate in Zamicha Bubante operation. Uh, we saw statements last night from Shoa Fano. Uh, Maketao spoke video statement. Uh, Commander Milato spoke as well. And they announced to be part of this operation. They praised the struggle of uh, Ubante Abate and they said that thousands of uh, Ubante Abate uh, have been prepared now. So this fight will go on. Then we saw a statement from Gojam Fano commanders, three or four commanders spoke videos and they also said that the fighting, the resistance will go on. And they said that, yes, uh, we know that uh, we risk our lives, but uh, Vubante's death is going to lead to uh, strength for this movement. Statement from East Amhara Fano too. I have not seen any statement from Mere Bodajo himself, but East Amhara Fano representative spoke and he said that the operation will be conducted by East Amhara Fano too, not only in just Volo, but also in Addis Ababa. East Amhara Fano talked about Addis Ababa. It means that Fano fighters want to take the conflict to Addis Ababa through this new operation. Then Gondar Fano issued a statement through Anchor Media. Uh, Massey McConnell's Anchor Media a few hours ago aired a statement from Gondar Fano. We don't know. We have not seen pictures, videos because uh, all other Fano groups released videos. 
ఇష్టమార ఫానో షోఫానో భోజం ఫానో ది రిలీస్ట్ వీడియోస్ ఆఫ్ ద స్టేట్మెంట్స్ మెన్షనింగ్ దేర్ పార్టిసిపేషన్ ఇన్ ద ఆపరేషన్ బట్ గోందర్ ఫానో హెస్ నాట్ రిలీస్ట్ అ వీడియో స్టేట్మెంట్ రిలీజ్ త్రూ యాంకర్ మీడియా యాంకర్ మీడియాస్ మెస్సి మెకానన్ ఇస్ వెరీ క్లోజ్ టు గోందర్ ఫానో అండ్ the man has been interviewing who uh, bante about and some say maybe that is how military came to know of the location whereabouts of who uh, bante about uh, so messe has connections with the gondar gondar fano and according to messe mekon a new commander has been elected to lead guna division who will lead guna who uh, bante was basically commander of guna division later he uh, was chosen as the head of south gondar fano as well a colonel has been chosen reportedly colonel ashnafi then ashnafi will lead uh, the gonar division and maybe he'll lead the entire south gondar fano too. it remains to be seen but he is definitely now gona command uh, leader ashnafi Secondly, Messe claimed that uh, Vubante's son has been chosen as the deputy of Colonel Eshenafi. Name of the son is uh, Tamesgen Vubante. We don't know because we are waiting for the confirmation from Tamesgen himself or some video pictures confirming that Tamesgen Vubante is ready to take over, to do what his father has been doing. Uh, so, we are waiting for Tamesgen. visual confirmation but according to messe who is very close to gondarfano uh, tamaskan has been chosen as deputy where is the former deputy of uh, tamaskan uh, the uh, of uh, ubante abate ubante abate did have a deputy it seems that ubante abate's deputy was injured i told you yesterday that afano commander was injured too. Fano groups are not disclosing his identity. They are confirming one commander injured, but they are not, confor- they're not uh, disclosing his identity. It seems that Mubante's deputy was injured. That is why a new deputy has been elected and he is uh, Tamaskan Mubante, Mubante's son. But we are waiting for confirmation. If Tamaskan Mubante joins this struggle, it would be a huge boost for Fano's movement. Why? so it means that uh, pano groups are not ready uh, to surrender they are not demoralized son taking over father's place it will give new force to this movement i believe if if tamaskan joins but let's see we'll have to wait how old is he how experienced is he is he ready to risk his life that remains to be seen so so far statements from all fano groups they want to be part of this operation they want to take revenge and they say now uh, they'll attack government officials prosperity party members security officials in a video this morning i told you about the kidnapping of uh, amhara regional communication department deputy uh, whose family has been kidnapped near bahitar we could see such attacks uh, abductions assassinations in the mahara region in addis ababa too i think that is why gondar fano and east amara fano both mentioned addis ababa in the statements that this operation will be launched not just in amara but in addis ababa too so maybe they have their sleeper cell there they have some elements uh, which support them there and uh, this week we saw that ethiopian joint uh, task force in security and safety claim that it had arrested uh, around 50 people for planning to create a conflict in Addis Ababa and they were based in border areas or Romeo Mahara border areas so Pano groups do have their presence in Addis Ababa let's see secondly Romeo special zone north shore zones of the Amhara region where heavy fighting now ongoing cities being destroyed uh, neighborhoods being set on fire it's purely ethnic conflict now Romo versus Amhara that is what I have been saying I have been pointing out it would happen it is happening now still people deny this is as you just want to create ethnic conflicts I only report I don't know why are people so blind I am reporting 
I have been warning you that it will happen because I knew what was uh, happening on the ground. I warned you. Now, when the fighting is on the people's side, you are fueling the conflict. So, should I stay quiet? I should not tell you what is happening there. That is what my job is. I should report. I should uh, warn in advance if I got information. So fighting now in Urwamiya Special Zone, uh, Jale Dimoga, in Atai, North Shore Zone, uh, Ifrata Gidim, Atai. Pano of uh, fighters enter Atai yesterday reported. Profano elements say that Ola entered Ataya. It is Ola which is fighting in Ataya. There is no Ola in Ataya. There is no significant presence of Roma Liberation Army in Roma Special Zone. Here farmers are armed. Roma farmers are armed. Fighting is between Roma farmers and uh, Pano fighters who are Amharas. It is purely Amhara versus Oromo conflict. Civilians are dying just because they are from Oromia. Just because they are Romos, just because they are Amharas. Purely ethnic conflict and uh, ongoing for several days in Romia special zone, no issues. And people injured, people dying, road closed, Debre Birhan, Dasi, road still closed. People cannot be transported to hospitals because of the closure of roads. They have to be transported through a far region, long route. People dying on their way to hospital. So, this is what is happening in Romia special zone, uh, North Shore zone of the Amhara region. The humanitarian crisis unfolding, military trying uh, to separate Amhara Fano fighters and Oromo uh, farmers. But military cannot be deployed to each and every town, Kabale, city of the Amhara region. Military could not clear the road. The road was closed more than three weeks ago to clear the area from Fano fighters. Road still closed, reportedly. I think this area, uh, Volo, Romia Special Zone, North Shore, is the most sensitive area of the Amhara region. If uh, fighting expands here, if it spreads here, it will have devastating consequences for ethnic harmony in Ethiopia. Thank you for watching.